So you've probably seen a few scenes like this around town after this week of storms, tree limbs and in some cases whole trees that came crashing down. Yeah, it's a busy and difficult time for the companies that remove those trees and we wanted to learn more about what they're up against. So 1011's John Grinvald rode out to one spot where a crew was busy removing a massive limb from someone's roof. Unfortunately, this view is not uncommon across Lincoln's residential neighborhoods right now. Tree limbs smashed into roofs and the sides of houses. Right now, Blue Ox Tree Service is busy here taking care of business. The aftermath of another storm that thrashed the Star City. Fallen on sidewalks and cars, tearing off gutters, downed limbs clutter the ground. Emergency jobs like this can't <laughs> sit here. And the folks at Blue Ox Tree Service tell me they're busier than they usually are around this time of year. In the past three to five years, uh, a lot of die, dead or dying trees. Crew foreman Eddie Lankus and his father and Blue Ox owner, also Eddie, tell me some people are waiting too long to cut down their dying trees, leaving the job to harsh winds and the potential for serious damage. It's a good sign if one of the limbs are hollow and breaking off like that, more are to follow. The tree removal experts also tell me that tree disease and insects like the emerald ash borer are leading culprits in the mess. Here, the crew made short work, sawing off limbs, removing the tree from the roof, and turning the branches into wood chips. Eddie says homeowners need to be proactive when it comes to trees, gauging health and deciding when to make a call, especially if you start noticing larger pieces falling off the tree. Once a, it's past a third of the tree is dead, then it's pretty much creeping on tree heaven. For the last couple of days, Blue Ox has been busy working sun up to sun down, and they don't anticipate that stopping anytime soon. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvalds, 1011 Now.